Hi everyone, welcome to Dennis and Hope channel. Today we are going to take you to Andamat. Andamat is a village in the Uri Canton in Swiss Alps. It is so beautiful. I thought it was just a regular ski resort, but it's actually a real village. Well, you see. We had special guests from Thailand, so we decided to take them to a regular Swiss trip to the mountain, and they can get to go ski as well. Driving there from Zurich takes about an hour and a half, but if you take a train, it's about two hours. We love the road trip in Switzerland. You know the. Road condition it's spectacular and the view is to die for. Even the pit stop is so picturesque. Wow. As we approached Andamat, it got higher and higher up into the mountain. Well, it's a ski <laughs> resort mountain, so it has to be higher. One more scary turn, then we will arrive in Andamat. Andamat is perfect for this trip because I don't ski, but you know, our guests and Dennis will ski, so I get to enjoy the village and they get to enjoy the slope. Win-win. If you don't have ski gear or you don't have all of it, like Dennis. You can stop by this place called Mayors. It's literally next to the lift, so it's pretty convenient. Once you have all your gears, then go get a ticket. You can buy this in advance, or you can just literally buy it at the lift. There's all these machines you can buy. Well, this is <laughs> German. Let's see if Dennis can do it. Uh oh, I guess we better go with English. Let's do this again. <laughs> so now it's in English. The, you can buy the ticket in many ways. Depends on where, how far you want to go, and uh, how many days you want this. Uh, pass for so we only come here for half a day, so we get like the afternoon pass. All right, ski gear checked, the pass checked. Let's go. Oh, I also go with them as well. You know, for non skiers, you can actually take a lift all the way up there and just enjoy the view. There are many ways to go up to the slope, and today we're going first to Gush. The lift takes about、uh, 15 minutes, and there is one stop before you get to all the way up to Gush. Well, this is where I part way with them. They will go enjoy the slope, and I will just go take some good photos and show it to you guys. I guess. <laughs> Oh my god! I mean, come on! Like, this is too much. I'm actually hungry. And I didn't realize there will be a Michelin place all the way up here on the ski slope. I was super surprised when I walked in. It's Japanese restaurant. Wow, in Swiss Alps. 
The inside of the restaurant looks super nice and comfy and warm. And I don't know what I was thinking. I decided to sit outside in sub-zero temperature. Stupid me. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't get this view from inside, right? So maybe not that stupid. I asked for the hot tea right away while I look at the menu. The menu is not big. It has omakase, uh, sushi, sashimi. I want hot soup, so I ordered ramen. And to my surprise, it came with many, many things. This is on the house. It is perfect seafood bite with caviar on top. And here's ramen. <laughs> my hands shaking from the cold. Oh my god! Or I'm just looking for ramen because all the way at the bottom, the top is like a topping just too much. The ramen also comes with a perfect bowl of miso soup. Um, the cold and the hot warm soup, perfect. This is also on the house. Five kinds of sweet. When I ask for a check, it is so worth it. I'm telling you. All right. Full belly, not cold anymore. Time to hit the village. I mentioned earlier that I did not realize this is a real functioning village until I walked around. It has all kind of shops. It has buses. It has church. I bet it's pretty busy during the summertime. Andermatt is in German part of Switzerland, so you see lots of German architecture and buildings. And like most of ski resort town in Switzerland, it looks kind of upscale. Well, at least to me, <laughs> it has this fancy five-star resort hotel called JD. JD is actually a Thai word, and it means pagoda. One thing you shouldn't miss in Andermatt is its own main church, Saint Peter and Paul. When I walked in, I sensed that it looked more elaborate than the churches that I visited in Zurich town. I did some research, and it confirmed to me why. This is a Roman Catholic church. It was built in 1600. A picture in the summertime outside must be very, very nice with green yard and flowers, and I guess cemetery. <laughs> But you don't see any of that because, well, it's winter. The snow is about a meter, a meter and a half high. Well, at least they dug this pathway for you to walk around. Thank you for watching this episode in Andermatt. I hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.